Welcome to another lesson in the TI30X Plus Math Print student course. In this lesson, we will be covering the stored operations feature, which is very useful for multiple calculations. To illustrate this, let's look at an example. Let's consider the straight line with equation y equals 3x minus 7. And let's say that we wanted to find the y coordinates of the following points that lie on the straight line y equals 3x minus 7. And these points, there's three of them. The first one has an x coordinate of 5. The second one has an x coordinate of negative 1.5. And the third one has an x coordinate of 16. So let's see now how we can set up an operation feature, have it stored, and then perform repeat calculations. So to set, an op to set up an operation, we press second and then the multiplication key. That takes us to the place where we set our operation. Now, the equation of the straight line is y equals 3x minus 7. So in other words, you take an x coordinate, you multiply it by 3, and then you subtract 7. So our operation is multiply by 3, subtract 7, and then press enter. And that stores the operation into the calculator. Now what we need to do is we need to go to the home screen, so second and then click to the home screen. The first x coordinate is 5. So we'll enter 5 and then to recall and perform an operation that's been set up, you press second and then the closing bracket. And what you'll notice there is that the 5 has been multiplied by 3, then 7 has been subtracted and you get an answer of 8. That n equals 1 is just uh, like a counter and is just showing you that you've done one calculation. If you remember the example, the next x coordinate is negative 1.5. So if we uh, hit our negation key, negative 1.5, then we press second and then the closing bracket key. That takes us to op. And again, you can see negative 1.5 times 3 minus 7 is negative 11.5. So the coordinates of that point are negative 1.5, negative 11.5. And the third point had an x coordinate of 16, and we wanted to find the corresponding y coordinate. So we enter 16, we press second, closing bracket, and it performs the operation again. And so the third coordinate that we, we, we were requiring is 1641. Remember to clear a set operation, what you need to do is press second, then the multiplication key, then press clear and enter. And if we now went to second multiplication, you'll see that that operation has been cleared. So that feature is very, very useful for repeat calculations with the calculator. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.